If you were ever unlucky enough to be sucked toward a sperm whale's mouth, the first thing you'd face is its terrifying set of teeth. Each one is around 20 centimeters long, about the size of a chef's knife, and there are 40 to 50 of them. Surviving this stage alone would be almost impossible, but let's pretend you somehow make it through. Once inside, things get worse. No light, very little oxygen, increasing levels of methane, throat muscles squeezing rhythmically, hydrochloric acid beginning to burn your skin. Not exactly the peaceful journey Bartley described. Sperm whales have four stomach chambers, and you'd be tossed into the first one like a helpless jelly bean. Maybe you'd catch a glimpse of glowing light, not from the whale, but from bioluminescent squid being digested around you. After that brief show, your body would be pushed from chamber to chamber, where powerful acids and enzymes break down everything, muscles, organs, skin, everything, until eventually, your bones are all that remain, and those wouldn't be treated gently either. They'd eventually be expelled back into the ocean in the least glamorous way possible.